Get ready for Noko's anime watch party time. Today we're going to check out Tensei Shitara Dai Nana Oji Datta no de Kimama ni Majutsu o Kiwame Masu. This show has a 7.10 on my anime list and it looks pretty interesting. Let's read the synopsis. The study of magic requires aptitude, effort, and the right bloodline. One sorcerer loved magic, despite lacking the bloodline and aptitude for it, and died wishing he'd spent more time studying in life. He reawakens as Lloyd, the seventh prince of the kingdom of Saloam, with all his previous memories intact. Blessed with a strong magical bloodline, he uses gifts to master the study of magic. Okay, this sounds based. I'm not gonna front. Uh, let's play episode one. Alright, bro, it starts off with bro vomiting up goo. Bro is straight up murdered by an elite class of people, right? These people with privilege and magic ability murder this guy for some reason, and he can't master magic. Why in the world would you want to become one of these people? Like, I could understand, like, being reincarnated as some kind of, like, being that could kill these people, maybe get revenge. But if these if this group of people has proven to just be horrible, why would you want to become them? Interesting. Okay, so he died to the nobles. He got literally burned to death and busted a nut as it was happening. So, based off that logic, I guess it makes sense that he would become one of them if he idolized them and was happy to even die. Bro is a total freak, by the way. Okay, so bro is literally born a gifted prodigy. Like, literally as a baby, he has his full memories. And he uh, cast a super spell. Cool. Daring today, aren't we? We skipped the intro because of integrity of the series. I don't think the intro should count. I literally don't care at all about the world building of your horrible, like, isekai slosh world. Like, it really does not matter. Like, you might as well not even show an establishing shot. We, we know what it's gonna be, bro. Okay, I haven't cringed yet, but I'm really uncomfortable that this bro literally looks like a rip off of Venti from Genshin Impact. I mean, the show isn't the worst thing in the world. At least they aren't over-sexualizing a 10-year-old child.